After a ferocious series of training matches that pitted the first yeah, some amazing battles in the series course against each other. My class ended up speaking of ferocious one loss, Baraka. one draw and three wins. You know, I wasn't that far off of my prediction. Am I about to pat myself on the back? Yes, I am. I predicted a sweep, but at the time I even said I don't think it's going to happen. I just thought it was fun. And it was not that far off, right? I mean, they lost one. I didn't know ties were on the table, so all right, I'll stop. <laughs> it is true that I, I underestimated Class B quite a bit, so I apologize to you, Class B, and to any Class B fans out there. I need to work harder and aim higher and live up to my potential. That's fine. <laughs> even the teachers are like, whoa, this is a Go lot. This a is intense. Ultra mentality. Yes, sir. You know what just occurred to me? I wish that I had had that connection to school. I think I could have done so many, so many things better. Not that it really mattered in the outcome of my life. Not that school was as important as people always told me it was. You know, I think I had that instinct right to know that it was sort of a lie to put 100% blind faith that the system would work to give me everything I wanted if I just, you know, fit into the system and followed it. But I was only halfway there because the other half is like, all right, now you, you see the big picture, but how do you make it work for you? I think if I had gotten to that idea earlier that my life is my own and that I can make it what I want it and that I should have big dreams and that I should always be working towards those dreams, I definitely could have found a way to make college, high school, even middle school if I was, you know, that precocious, connected in a way that would have made it awesome and would have made me like want to be the best. And I'm sure I could have been. There's no point crying over spilled milk, but I would like to keep that in mind. I think usually there's a connection between the optimal choices and like doing more and fostering positive traits rather than easy traits, let's say. So like it was really easy for me to say screw high school. That was me in a way using actual insight, I think, to cover up deeper flaws that I had, to cover up sort of more selfish or base desires that were already there. And that was sort of a, a self-deception in a way. What would have been optimal is like I'm autonomous and I'm free and I'm going to think for myself and I'm going to do it in a way that gets me to this ultimate dream. Nevertheless, I'm going to go to school and crush school. You know, I feel like that's the like the highest reaching one. Something to keep in mind going forward just in life and planning and decisions. Honestly, in the first match, I thought your team did a great job of putting your quirk front and center. But you're definitely more than that power. <laughs> Deku just did all this amazing stuff, but his lens is just on how great Shinzo is. But my quirk didn't help anyone in the match. Stop it. You in just fact, crossed the line. I put people in danger. That's a good point. Well, he's, I guess he's not wrong. He's not wrong. That was kind of a, a unique circumstance, though. I guess despite Deku's really amazing performance last episode and his ability to come to grips really quickly with, you know, a changing situation and to find a way to deal with it, there's still a lot to process. I mean, this is all brand new. It literally has been like 30 minutes, probably. In all probability, Shinso will join the hero course in your second year. I love how we're pretending that he's not just an automatic in Which after all that. Which join? A? B? That was my question, too, yeah. <laughs> It's true How that in a tragic twist of fate, this. Class B was defeated today. But we didn't <laughs> lose if you look at what we planned. With optimism. Rationalization? You gotta admire the guy's spirit at least. That's right. He activated Shota's quirk remotely. There's a lot of depth to Monoma's quirk. I feel like this this could be big later. If I had known that Midoriya's quirk was a blank, then who knows? A blank? <laughs> oh, did he gain some insight on Deku from... I have a task for you. Come visit... That experience? Tomorrow. Interesting. Aerie? Why? Monoma just got on this show's radar big time. There's just so many, so many ways this character can go. I can see all the potential for Aerie as well. Oh, hey, so it's my favorite, fast. favorite man. <laughs> new letters. He looks great. She looks happy. The new power and all for one. Yeah, new beginnings. It's a lot of room for this to What's go in so many directions. Use it! Whoa! What are you scared or something? Bakugo's taking an extreme interest in Deku's new, new abilities. We're supposed to be making sure it doesn't come out. <laughs> well, young Midoriya, yeah, different approaches, different lenses. Bakugo just wants to go to 100 immediately. You guys always have secret meetings in here. There's a lot of them. Usually sandwiches are involved. Today? So did you know about this All Might? About the dark energy? It just, it's so weird, like, to think about All Might watching Deku uncover this. All Might... Spent how much time exactly as the wheeler of One for All? And did so much with it. Imagine finding out that there was all this potential he never even knew about. Not that All Might would ever have any kind of negative reaction to it, like, you know, jealousy or whatever, but just the shock. Also, in this scene, I can't quite put my finger on it. Like, the show does a great job of developing Bakugo deliberately but subtly. I feel like his presence is just different in this room. He feels like a team member now. Like, it always felt right to me that he knew, but it feels like we've sort of dispensed with a lot of the rivalry element of it. You know, like the pettiness, maybe, or the sort of baggage that, that came with Deku and Bakugo. He just feels like an ally. Feels like he's a good ally to have in this. And weirdly, not to put too fine a point on it, I feel like he's earned almost like a mentor vibe because of his ability, because of his exploits that we've seen. He's earned the right to, like, push Deku, if that makes sense, because of the way he pushes himself, I think. And in some way, he also works as a good counterpoint to All Might, who's sort of, not soft, but maybe more nurturing. 
Great, this idiot scum is the first one to go out of control. Hey, that's a... <laughs> so much for Think putting hard. down the baggage. You must have noticed something that triggered the new power. <laughs> Maybe there's something going on in the world that's making this happen? Could it be connected to the... what do you call that? The only thing to do is kick the crap out of you and force the energy to go wild again! Try insulting his friends. If you can't use it, then I'm over this! See ya! So much for being stop an ally, I meant to... <laughs> that gives me the creeps. Thanks for coming. You're a moron! <laughs> Baby, Ooh, it's the oh. like you're a weakling. Only, only Tetsu Tetsu can do that. You're the opposite. The more you're hit, the stronger you get. Uh, you're right. We're both <laughs> Tetsu Tetsu. Yeah, it just, it just doesn't feel right if they're disagreeing with each other. That's a power combo right there. Underrated bromance. Hi, beef stew's on the dinner menu tonight. Oh, Deku, okay. tell you how great he did. He did great, right? And it looks like Class B's joining us too. They've come to mingle and talk about the training. They've come to join the show. What is happening to Mineta? Like, oh, he's- oh my god, oh my god, he's being reprogrammed. I didn't know you had two quirks this whole time as well, huh? It's a shock to a lot of us. How interesting. He that would know something about, like, for you. dark energy and powers. You were amazing, Todoroki! Not nearly good enough. It seems the two of us are almost in the same predicament. Right, there's parallels there. And that's why I have to start aiming even higher. <laughs> that motto again. I'm still not good enough. Oh, he reached out. Oh, he replied to the- Message. That's huge. We're all in agreement. Allow me to take care of the paperwork. Who disagrees? To Shinzo? Okay. <laughs> all right. I mean, just the fact that Aizawa cares about it is a good enough reason for me. Trust this man's judgment. <laughs> What's this foolish child saying? <laughs> oh, I told her that Yue has its bad parts and that you represented one of its downsides. Oh man, that hurts coming from Mirio. It was always so positive and cheerful. There was something I wanted to ask Monoma to do, but... This is a lot of responsibility for Monoma. It's a lot of responsibility for Monoma, but I want it to happen, if I am right about what this is. What I want to happen is for this to end with Muriel getting his powers back. After thinking about their personalities, I wasn't sure they'd mesh well. Well, I love to hear you've been thinking about me, Teach! <laughs> no, but there's more to Monoma than initially appeared. Give him, give him a task, I feel like he could do it. This one is a blank. What is this blank deal? A blank. Disappointing, but it's not yes, your fault. Disappointing. You wanted him to copy Aerie's quirk? Why would that be a good thing? For you, Mirio, you big handsome dummy. But if it's an ability that accumulates something and changes it into a form of energy, I don't copy the stored up fuel that would make it function. That makes sense. Uh, what? <laughs> Same logic goes for when I copied your quirk but couldn't release any of its energy. If it hadn't been for that, Monoma's limbs exploded. probably would have shot off into space. He'd be in more pieces than Lizard Girl. Well, that reduces some of the potential of Monomo's quirk. And also, it's a little bit surprising considering he could punch Deku without a fist, yet can't use Fat Gum's power without fat. You're having a lot That's of not your fault. Because of me. No, no. It's always like that. No, you no, no. Everyone problems. Let's have another festival to cheer you up. <laughs> don't get sad. Yeah, don't. We've worked too hard for you to not be sad. For you to be sad. You saved my life with your rewind quirk. And you saved our hearts with... Powers aren't good or bad. Your smile at the festival. I know. Think of them like they're knives in the kitchen. They may be dangerous, but if they're sharp and you use them right, they make yummy food, huh? It's a nice analogy. <laughs> Deku with the quick thinking. So true. Deku just summed up like one of the biggest themes that comes up in this channel in like a sentence. Deku showing me up once again. Even if that is where my power originated, it's my ally now and I have to trust it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Deku talking to himself a little bit there. Sometimes you don't realize even how you you feel unless you talk to others about it. In the man, Deku. You're the man to Mirio. You're the man all might. You know what else is the man? Bakugo. You know one thing that like took me a while to realize, and should have been obvious, is that he's a genius. I mean, he's brilliant. He just doesn't flaunt his intelligence. <laughs> oh, high school. I remember those days. Are you ready, Plankton Brains? I feel like one like Let's begin. surprising benefit of all this is they get to spend all this time with Gang Orca. Might have been a net gain, ultimately. Bakugo may be a jerk, but he's been doing real good lately. There you go, support your classmates, Invisible Girl. That was just a, a line in the news, but I feel like that's going to be significant. Hero support industry. Are they doing this to steal purses and wallets? Sometimes in the show, the, the crimes the, the villains want to commit don't match the skill of their powers at all. This assault just began. Just All Might and Todoroki and Bakugo. First you need to check the surroundings, I know. You can't fight these villains, but we can. With their fresh, freshly minted hero licenses? Great opportunity. They have been just itching. Itching to get out there. You pretending to be grown-up pros? 
You all need to get away from the scene. Oh, wow. They're all just starstruck. <laughs> yeah. Hand over the things you've stolen. I mean, this is a really powerful team right here. Todoroki and Bakugo. We spent an entire month prepping to make sure we nabbed a ton of end of the year loot. With all the power you have, you could do better than this. Get a real job. Yeah, for real. I can manipulate carbonation. Makes me feel all tingly inside. He's soda, soda villain. I sort of love it. <sighs> Bakugo is just letting out. Months and months what, of frustration. Knock you out? I thought I held back enough to keep you conscious. <laughs> you don't. Yeah, you just don't know. You just don't know what you've done. Pretty. It's like we're inside a beautiful snow globe. Get back! You're Listen to All Might. How dare you? <laughs> all Might still being here without powers. Can't turn this guy off. Try not to get yourself killed. Bakugo, like, still maybe feeling responsible for this at some level. I was hoping we could avoid any violence. I mean, that, that doesn't, opportunity has long passed. Long passed. See, he's more comfortable using fire now. Freeze, Combo powers, too. You pulled that crap at the sports fest. This is the like the one time I think to this day the teachers have stepped in, right? Oh, you're that famous delinquent from UA High. You want to rethink famous that word? Delinquent. Isn't he like, like top of his class in every other way? Or, you know, near the top? I stashed it before it got incinerated. How did he have time to do that? You must be hungry. I need to melt the ice. I'm not helping. Beautiful. <laughs> nice little, like, congratulatory scene for Bakugo and Todoroki finally joining the ranks of people who can actually use their powers in public. Hey, we got an end credit scene. It's been a while. Did we have a blackout or something? Maybe everyone else left the dorms? You got your way, Surprise party? Chris. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Congratulations! Capsule cake! That thing is massive! <laughs> I like how that wasn't even negative, it was just like joy about the cake. You better shut your face if you wanna live! He's getting there. He, he, he's making progress. Slow and steady. It's in there. It's all in there. Can't say he's nice, but he's working on it. You just know these kids are, are beautiful to their core because they're competitive in a way that's non negative. You know what I mean? Like, they're all competing with each other all the time, but they understand that one person's success doesn't diminish their own chances for success, it enhances it. They don't see it as like more people in a crowded space, they see it as motivation for themselves to be doing better. And so they're free to be 100% just joyous about Todoroki and Bakugo passing. Whereas I feel like in real life it's really easy to lose sight of that. It's easy to see other people just as obstacles or competition in a way that eliminates one's own probability of success. I actually feel like you can tell a lot about someone's own internal views about their, their personal success by how they treat others in the same industry. You know, people who've already sort of made it, I think, or are comfortable at the level they're at are generally supportive you know they want to bring other people up with them people who are still insecure about their role or don't feel like they've sufficiently made it are the types who want to sabotage or sort of begrudge other people for their success as if there was any doubt that they, the kids of my hero academia are not just the most amazing people that ever walked the face of the earth so yeah this did feel like somewhat of an epilogue on that arc the school training arc and what is potentially a couple of really significant things i feel one is manama's copy ability they tried it out and it didn't work but i feel like it's not the end of the road for that and then of course bakugo and Todoroki getting their training licenses, which is going to be huge because they've been built up into, into such amazing characters that it feels great that they're able to join now, especially with what seems like the re-emergence of All for One. So that is very exciting and, and creates a lot to look forward to. Not to mention Todoroki reaching out to Endeavor and knowing that that's going to be a lot. There's going to be a lot there for sure. Speaking of like knives in a drawer. So yeah, that's the end of this episode. I'll see you guys next time when the battle continues to be the world's greatest group of children.